Thank you very much, Herbert. Uh, I'm very happy to introduce to you today Vivi House. And um, not only this, but, but also, like Herbert already mentioned, uh, the path from very bottom-up projects um, into the institution of a technical university with all uh, professional partners and how to implement um, those um, bottom-up ideas uh, actually into a society. So thank you very much, Herbert. And um, yeah, um, yeah, we are um, a team of um, actually um, five people. Where is it? Here. Ah, da, that's this there. Mm -hmm. Ah, yeah. Thank you. So we are the ICP, the Institute for Convivial Practices at the Technical University of Vienna. Can everybody hear me? It's okay? Dirk, yes, in the last row, you hear me? Yeah, thanks. So, um, actually we met um, uh, Nicolas, um, Nicolas Kichler on the left-hand side, Mika Fürst, um, me, um, Katrin Meyer and our professor Karin Stieldorf. Um, yeah, we met uh, around about four years ago, uh, them, and uh, yeah, we had studied architecture and wanted to um, uh, to bring uh, the bottom-up ideas from straw bale uh, and uh, earth building uh, into the broader context of a technical university. And uh, Karin Stieldorf uh, was uh, gave us the chance to to do so uh, in this institution. Which was very good for this. Um, thank you again. And um, yeah, we um, do. Uh, we did together already uh, some projects, uh, which I will uh, show you a little bit later. Uh, first of all, we did a, a manual for self-building for uh, for the urban area, which is the toolkit for urban self-building. Uh, then we do now the project Vivi House, and we also work together in a project Baus in a Seestadt Aspen, where we already um, built a, um, a physical project, so um, we, which we already realized with the guys from the, uh, the T-Base last year. Um, besides this, we um, uh, have um, also the possibility to teach at the university, to work together with students, which is also very interesting. Um, and um, yeah, and the project Vivi House, which is the biggest and um, running project, the current project, um, is of course a, a research project and um, a project. Um, um, a realization project where we built um, a prototype, a real um, self-building prototype in one-to-one. -one. Um, also, we do um, uh, together with the ASBN, ASBN um, uh, straw bale uh, workshops at the university together with the students. So first of all, we did uh, the toolkit for urban self-building. Um, which I will explain later to you. Uh, this is then uh, the Vivi House project here, the icon, which we developed uh, in a long process also. And uh, the main idea of Vivi House is to make it possible to bring uh, ecological materials and self-building into multi-story buildings, uh, also in uh, urban fabric, not only in uh, rural areas. That was the main driving force. Here's the Project Baus in the Seestadt Aspern, um, which the group of the T-Base uh, developed and, and we um, helped them to design this um, project. But um, later uh, to these things, first of all, the interesting thing was uh, what Herbert um, asked me to do to show how uh, everything started and uh, how was the course um, to the city center uh, from the rural areas, if you might say so, if I might say so. Um, Sprungbrett Aspern. Um, what was, no, um, let me first start a little bit different. Mace, Mace in, the, in the beginning, uh, 
was talking about um, these uh, theoretical and uh, uh, things, and um, somebody mentioned um, Gandhi, uh, who was mentioning the three strategies or different strategies who could be um, um, used uh, in the same time or. Uh, uh, and I thought, what is the um, actually the access to sustainable building? Yeah, for everybody it might be different, or um, maybe for myself also, <coughs> I could have in several times different accesses to why I'm doing sustainable building. Actually, yeah, um, maybe it's because you like to work together with other people on the construction site because you have fun there. And it's really cool to uh, touch the materials, to work in the sunshine. But it could also be um, the condition of the planet and uh, the um, yeah, bad condition of, uh, of the Earth and, and, uh, and the climate change and stuff. And uh, there could be a lot of uh, things. And not, uh, only, not the only thing is the, r the right uh, reason for it. But um, for me personally, um, in 2010 and in the early 2011, it was the starting since I'm uh, working with uh, ecological materials and um, there was, um, I was really not confident with working in a normal office designing uh, only uh, parking lots uh, or toilets in concrete with uh, um, with styrofoam insulation and stuff and this was really sad and um, frustrating me so I was really uh, looking around and constantly driving to conferences and uh, workshops and stuff and I met Gerhard Scherbaum we together he is now working with ISBN as well and um, we um, went to a uh, conference in, in uh, Carinthia together and that was actually in, in 2011 the starting there somebody told us about um, uh, ASBN and um, together we went to Herbert's workshop in Ravelsbach here and um, we built this first uh, straw bale votes in Herbert's uh, um, yeah, bam, bam, eh? Attic, yeah, attic, yeah. And yeah, later on, when we already maybe disappeared, or maybe I disappeared already from that construction site, other people uh, finished it. So it's sometimes a huge pro a process, and and it takes time. But this might be a great uh, achievement of all this working with natural materials as in in groups to. to do. Um, after that, I um, was really interested to get to know other things uh, from ecological building, and I w went to northern Germany, to Mecklenburg-Vorpommern, to um, a building site with Gernot Minke in the FAL, and we built there again votes, but this time uh, load-bearing votes. Um, later, we um, uh, Gerhard and me again um, said we want to build our first uh, straw bale building together and we found the place of um, Sprungbrett Aspen in Vienna uh, in the Seestadt Aspen where we built uh, the catenary uh, vote building yeah. and um, yeah this was um, yeah, an interesting place where we got to know uh, a lot of a lot of people and everybody uh, interested in sustainable building, social, um, working together and, and stuff. And yeah, we learned a lot in these days. Uh, and uh, as you can see here, this was the first building, very bottom up, very easy with um, wire um, uh, tires from, from uh, car tires as a foundation and uh, yeah, heating system, wall heating system, and this is the space Sprungbrett Aspen in Vienna. Yeah, we constructed from um, recycling material the window facade and stuff. Here you see um, how we um, built the first uh, catenary ward. Uh, 
and it was fascinating. Yeah, so some of you know this already, um, I guess. Um, here's the plans for the facade. Then we also founded the Green Skills Workshop. Uh, Constanze is here. She uh, was one of the first participants who has been uh, leading this uh, Green Skills for the last six years now. Um, but we founded it in 2011 with, uh, and worked together with uh, work main, mainly workless people and the uh, Workless Assembly of Austria um, uh, supported this and gave us uh, some budget for it, actually. And it took place in a Mongolian yurt, for example. So it was very, very, very bottom-up in these days. And then Gerhard and me uh, founded uh, the um, uh, Straw Bale uh, Assembly EGB, uh, Einfach Gemeinsam Bauen, so we simply uh, built together. And um, we wanted to um, um, build a little bit bigger building and uh, found a, a project in Lower Austria, the Garten der Generation, where we could build a 55 square meter straw bale building um, without professional craftsmen, but with a legal um, uh, Einreichplan, uh, hmm? Le yeah, legal permission plan. And yeah, here you can see uh, one of the uh, roof beams, um, which was uh, built with uh, people like an um, 80 years old uh, priest and a child, very young. And um, yeah, so it was still um, very bottom up, but um, yeah, we managed to build it uh, without craftsmen. So that was after six months very. A uh, cool uh, experience. Again, we designed the facade from recycling materials, but um, yeah, it was good achievement. So, but uh, after all of this, um, how many times do I have? Uh, after all of this, there was still a question: Can it remain only in, yeah, only in a countryside? And uh, of course not. If um, we uh, want to uh, do something for the whole society, we need to bring it to the cities, we need to spread it. And how can we bring it to multi-story and urban uh, regions uh, to work with uh, Navros? And so we um, um, now uh, I got uh, to know in contact with Nicolas and Mika first, Nicolas Kichler and Mika first, who were also architects, and we founded the Initiative for Convex uh, Vivial Practices. And we uh, said, yeah, we want, we like to work together, and we wrote an application to the uh, Austrian Climate uh, Fund who um, uh, gives funding for ecological uh, projects. And yeah, and um, we could make it with Karin Stiedorf at the Technical University. And we made a toolkit for urban self-building. This is a book um, with uh, which uh, shows in uh, some chapters. Uh, and that was our idea how DIY building ecological building and multi-story building can be combined like maybe like Gandhi used to combine uh, different strategies uh, I think this was very uh, important which uh, um, Helmut said in the beginning and uh, uh, after this research we uh, where we learned again a lot um, we designed four uh, building types which could be the basis uh, for other initiatives, architects, construction engineers, to really um, uh, realize uh, such structures in, in the urban fabric. Uh, yeah, in this project and in the Vivi House project, we work together with a consortium where ASBN is a very important partner uh, for, for all the um, self-building knowledge, of course, and for um, the calculations of uh, uh, housing energy and stuff. Um, and we work together with the construction engineer company, RWT Plus and, um, and Lukas Lang, a modular building 
uh, company. But um, yeah, still, how to make it in the multi-story? Uh, you see, this is the project everybody knows here in France, in saint de Vaux, um, the seven-story straw bale building. But this is uh, not built with self-building, so it doesn't include the uh, social innovation. It is only a technical uh, masterpiece. Yeah. But this was not enough for us. We wanted more. And we looked at other projects. You see here a project from the architectural office Bell from Cologne. Uh, they invented this, um, or they built this um, uh, room shelf, which is like an I I I IKEA uh, shelf. But in building scale, you just build this concrete, stru concrete structure, and then the self builders can come and build their own. Uh, apartments inside. Of course, this is not uh, uh, the ecological masterpiece, uh, neither, but um, it was a, um, designed to have a lot of uh, self building and a lot of um, possibilities in the um, open floors. So, flexibility is one very important issue if you want to build in, in a society. There are so many buildings from the 60s, 70s, which are already demolished. And this is an um, ecological disaster in terms of building material. So if you really design... Um, um, I, have to, I have to skip something. So the thing with the um, room shelf is you design a very open floor. And in several periods, after decades, um, people can completely... Um, use it in different way, if it's um, housing or office or what else, or atelier. And if you design them like this, uh, it, w it won't be uh, demolished probably uh, in comparison to buildings where every square meter is especially designed for that or another purpose. Um, so we concentrated very much on researching these kind of room shelves which already exist. Uh, there's, for example, this building in Berlin. And you see here you have only the concrete uh, ceiling and the concrete floor. And everything uh, in between is designed by the inhabitants themselves. And you can cover it by, for example, a straw bale facade which is not made in this case, and this is not self-building, we, but we detected this building for it would be perfectly fitting with self-building. Yeah? Uh, or to go into, I don't know, 20 story or something in the future, this is just Photoshop from an artist from France. Um, um, I go further. So in our self-building manual, we designed uh, such a concrete uh, room shelf um, and you can see you could cover it with a straw bale, uh, clay, um, um, lime plaster, wood facade, if, if you like. Um, uh, it, it's just uh, how the group, how the assembly who realize it likes it and can afford it. Or if they are a strange group, they can uh, do it completely in a dif different ma manner. Uh, and inside also it could look uh, like this, or completely different, of course. We made it uh, as a model, one floor you see here, and you see the blue ones are the um, bathrooms, the red rooms are the kitchens, and everything else is completely uh, empty, except the, uh, the things where the p pipes and tubes for the building um, uh, hmm? house installation uh, are placed. So it was really interesting uh, together with our um, house technicians uh, to design this and then to show all the possibilities, not all, but a lot of possibilities, how you could um, use such a room shelf differently so that in 20, 50 or 100 years people can use it different. So maybe it's in concrete the, the main structure, but if it is used for 500 years, why not? Yeah, But it's just the first step. The second step would be 
to also realize the room shelf, not in concrete, but in um, Navarro's, in, 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 in uh, sustainable materials, in wood, for example, and straw bale and so on. So we came, uh, we finished the, hand, uh, the manual and came to Vivi House. And um, yeah, because Vivi House is not a room shelf from concrete, but uh, wanted to use uh, wood. So to, uh, to and therefore we wanted Vivi House also not only to uh, give the possibility for flexibility in terms of open floors, uh, but also in terms of being reassembled on another site, for example. So you can use it in the periphery of the urban fabric and if the city grows or shrinks in a period of some decades or centuries, you can say, okay, this district can be um, demolished, but you can reuse the uh, construction, for example, mm, closer to the city center or something. So you have more, even more flexibility. Uh, yeah, then you have different possibilities of make uh, modular, f um, modular wood construction buildings. Uh, yeah, you can. It, it it ranges from having the uh, several pieces from a beam. This is a drawing from Lucas Lang, our partner company. Um, you have uh, the the dr the pieces, the wood pieces from a beam uh, over. Um, assembling the whole um, walls or the whole um, story walls um, till um, to uh, assemble room cells. But uh, we came up that if you want to assemble room uh, cells and um, carry them by lorry, by, by lorry uh, on the street, you need uh, one uh, lorry for one room cell. So we thought it might be better just to uh, make a system which um, works with um, yeah, beams uh, and uh, wall systems. So this is the um, main idea of Vivi House is, uh, Vivi House is to have um, a system from wood beams and um, wood floors uh, and steel knots. So we have uh, steel knots because Vivi has uh, wants to go six story. So for um, constructional reasons, we need to have uh, steel knots. But this is a very small uh, percentage uh, in in terms of material. So we say it's it's okay. And you can ex uh, uh, assemble all those um, um, beams and. Uh, and also the floors. Here you can see a typical straw bale um, floor, for example, and a typical straw bale wall. Of course, there are a lot of possibilities to assemble them. And um, yeah, in cooperation with the ISBN, then we brought it to the um, normal architectural design semester uh, in, in this year. Um, we made a design studio for with 34 students uh, who not should this time design uh, her, their own building, but uh, built, really built with um, tools in a workshop. And also they designed firstly their t-shirts with the Vivi House logo. And then um, together with ISBN, we had to design and set up the whole workshop here you can see Flo teaching the students in the technical university. Um, yeah, we explained them how the walls uh, will be uh, manufactured, and we had uh, we have um, sponsoring by Festool, for example, not in this workshop but in the next one. We will have all these tools. Here you see how the students assembled one of the first Vivi House walls. Um, yeah, we had to rent a, a stapler. And yeah, so it was quite interesting to see how it works in education. And it was very uh, good to see the happy eyes of a lot of students 
who rarely or mainly never have the chance to work on a construction site in, in, in a technical university. So they really did appreciate that. And um, yeah, then we brought the elements to the Maker Fair in Vienna. It had to be uh, at night. And we assembled it on this Maker Fair, an exhibition from the makers. <coughs> And yeah, one girl of the students designed a green facade, as you see, for Vivi House. So, and now the further steps. See, um, as, uh, since we only built uh, six walls um, from Vivi House uh, with the students in the uh, spring of 2018, um, in the next month, in, in November, we want to build the first completely closed uh, prototype version. Um, this is which will be ne uh, built next year. Here, see students designed a lot of um, um, different walls because uh, in Vivi House, every student or every user can design their own uh, his own uh, wall. And yeah, we designed then for the prototype kitchen with uh, the close uh, uh, closet and stuff built some models, developed the steel knot together with our construction engineer. You see a picture of the steel knot together with the wood beams, which is quite a lot of uh, work and will be fabricated in the next weeks. Yeah, This was hard because of every half millimeter and yeah so and this is how the first prototype in which will be assembled in november uh, will look like this is just uh, six to three meters roundabout uh, uh, room and um, it will be assembled in a carpentry in lower austria in Piestingtal next month again together with some students with uh, an NDASBN. And this is the prototype which will be uh, assembled in the next spring. And you see um, yeah, the, the parts, uh, of course, because it's module fit together and can be used, the parts from November again in, in April next year. And yeah, and the project has 60% funding so uh, we constantly have to find sponsors to um, give us uh, the material, the building material, cheaper than, uh, than we had to buy it in a normal market. So this is hard work as well. And here's the vision uh, how a six-story Vivi house could look like. But of course, it can be always look different according to the users, what they design it. And yeah, maybe it can be here, like in the normal district of Vienna. Uh, it could also be in a new um, development area, of course. Yeah. So this is what we have no funding for. But um, <laughs> Let's see what happens in the next two, three, four years. There's the IBA Vienna, the IBA, the International Building uh, Exhibition of Vienna in 2020 till 2026, I guess. And um, a lot of buildings uh, with a special uh, design approach for the future will be realized in that context and it would be great to realize um, yeah, such a building in, in that context. But that's the next steps. Yeah. So uh, thank you very much for your attention. Yeah.